All right, today is day seven and eight of the Invictus ship free fly event at Apex Hall. And today is Anvil. So we've got all sorts of fun ships. But we can see a few favorites here. Pisces, Carrick, Arrow. But we're going to do today just a little bit different. And start out downstairs. Just for variety. And hopefully speed up some of my stuff here. Is the only thing down here today is this great big beast here, the Ballista, which is an anti-aircraft rocket launcher monster ground vehicle. Also has a turret on it so it can do some ground stuff. And it's cool 8x8 missile turret truck kind of a thing. So we got done with that, but as with the Tonk, it is not ready to do much because of the fact that it's a ground vehicle and they don't have ground mechanics working quite well yet. And this is the Pisces, basically a little runabout. It does have guns, but it's not really a fighter fighter kind of a thing. More of a crew transport or small crew, crew transport. Uh, here is the Anvil Arrow. It is arguably one of the better light fighters. It was better, but from what I understand, they nerfed it so it's not hitting quite as hard. But it's still a very effective light fighter, very nimble. And this is one of the Hornet variants. I believe... Oh, it's the Gladiator, so it's the Bomber. So that would be why it's got the little drop doors here. So, yeah. That ought to be fun to play with. Okay, this one's kind of hard to miss, the Carrick. Uh, Carrick is, I believe, an exploration vehicle. Yeah. Ex Expedition and Pathfinder, okay. So it's the one you go out and find all the wormholes with and all that fun. Wow, I wonder how it got damaged. Looks like it's been in a fight already. It's got a pretty good size hold. You could probably park a Tonk in here and whatnot. And it's got cr decent crew quarters and whatnot. So it's a big ship. Pretty decent ship. And here is the Hawk. I like the idea of the Hawk. I just don't like the current functionality of the Hawk. Because it's the bounty hunter ship. Well, here is a light fighter. But if you look around the back here real quick. Yeah, it has the pod. Oh, I don't... I already rented it. I want to play with the pod door. Yeah. You've got a prisoner seat where you can lock your bounty up. Lock them in there, take off, drop them off at the nearest law station and get paid for your bounty. And this is the Terrapin. The Terrapin is a Pathfinder scanning vessel. It's also heavily armored, but it also, it's not very responsive, but it is fairly fast. So you're not going to 
win any off-the-line races or anything with it, but it can get up to speed and do fairly well. But for a scanning kind of data type ship, it's not too bad. And this is the only wing that's open today. Of course, our F8 Lightning with the 999 paint job on it. The pretty red and white. get to play with that, I'm pretty sure. Especially with that livery, so that paint job, because that's specifically for the 999 unit. Oh, yeah, that looks like it there, so that's probably just like the Retaliator. It's probably just a model you can play with. Yep. One day we'll get to fly that with all of its wonderful armaments. Here is the hurricane. Come on. Oh. Anvil hurricane. So this is a heavy fighter. And it's a two person, one pilot that runs the guns up front, one pilot, or one gunner that runs the turret. I believe the front guns there that the pilot runs are the uh, shotgun blast, laser blasters. And this space marine transport here is the Valkyrie. Valkyrie. So it can haul what is it? One light vehicle and like 16 marines or something crazy like that. Or 12 marines. So then it's got guns and stuff so it can do support roll once it drops its cargo. And which Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. I want to rent you. Because this would be the Super Hornet. This is the regular Hornet. So that's the regular Hornet. And he's got couple underwing guns. I think that's it. The Super Hunt Hornet has all sorts of guns. Oh, that is just... Well, I guess it is the military variant and they wouldn't want you going out and using it like a military vehicle, I guess. So disappointing, but it is what it is, so that looks like everything for today, so thank you for listening. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Just a quick reminder. There's also Drake Interplanetary Defense Day, on May 29th through May 31st, because they won't let Drake play with the other military boys, because they're not a military, guys.